Today, we're going to be taking a look at 20 of the most successful dropshipping websites. That's a lot. Part of the point of today's video is going to be to be able to give all of you some sort of inspiration or some sort of structure or even some sort of motivation to help you get started actually dropshipping. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. If you don't know how to set up your store, if you don't know how to make it look good, if you don't know anything about designing, then make sure you check this video all the way through because all of these different stores can give you different ideas on how you can start structuring yours. All of the different stores that we're covering in today's video are going to be in various different niches. So no matter what niche you're trying to start dropshipping in, some of these stores are bound to inspire you to actually get your store set up and running. I can't wait to see how they work. Of course, all of the different stores that we're talking about in today's video are going to be powered through Shopify. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Today's video is going to be a pretty fast paced one because if we spend more than just one minute on each of these different stores, this video is going to be a movie. Yeah, it's going to be pretty long, but that's not the case. We're going to go through these pretty quickly, talk about a few of the different things that we see on the website itself, and hopefully some of the sites that we're going to take a look at can inspire you to actually start yours. And first up on this list, we have New Bella. Now, right off the bat, you can tell that New Bella is a store that's focused around shoes and accessories. Right here, right at the top, they have all of the different types of shoes that they offer. And as you can see, they're getting ready for Black Friday pretty early. Aside from that, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that all of the different pictures on here, all of the ads, all of the images, images, all the product pictures, they're all super high quality. Everything is very sharp. Everything looks clean. It's very easy to navigate and it's very eye catching. This entire website is very easy to look at. It's easy to navigate. And honestly, I think it's absolutely fantastic. This is a very well done website. Honestly, one of my favorite things about it is the fact that they have high quality images. You don't know how many dropshipping stores I've gone into. And the first thing that you see is a pixelated or a blurry image. If you have those types of images on your store, chances are, people are not going to trust you to have high quality products if you can't even have high quality images. Next up, we have Cuddles Meow. Now, Cuddles Meow is obviously a store that is based around cats and cat accessories. So right off the bat, the first thing that jumps out to me as soon as I land on the store are the different types of colors. The color palette that they used on this website fit together pretty well, and it all goes together perfectly with the store niche, which in this case is cats. Now, one of the other things that actually stands out is their banner. If you haven't noticed, most of the dropshipping websites that we go on to all have some sort of announcement banner. My suggestion is to always have a banner promoting some sort of sale or discount that you have going on. Aside from that, taking a look at it, I really like this little menu bar up here. It's very clean. It's unique. It's not like one that I've seen before. Right off the bat, as soon as you land on here, you have social proof. So you have what looks to be a five star rating. 4.9, it's pretty much the same thing, with over 20,000 happy customers. And honestly, that I do believe. I believe that number because if you take a look at them on Instagram, they have quite the following. But scrolling through their homepage, you can see that everything is neatly organized. Everything is based around their niche, which is cats. They have a featured collection, which is kitty approved. This right here is a nice little touch. If you start to add little things like this throughout your website, it really adds to the feel of the site itself. But aside from that, if you keep scrolling, you see that everything is very clean. Everything is set pretty nicely. The colors are consistent. The text is consistent. And overall, it's a very clean website, very easy to navigate. So if you're looking to get into the pet niche or if you're looking to get down specifically to the cat niche, then you can start taking some inspiration from Cuddles Meow. Bob VSS is up next. And here it seems to be more than anything, more of a general store. So they sell pretty generic products and they sell different things year round. So the first thing that jumps out at you as soon as you land on the website is the Christmas trees. So obviously they're getting ready for Christmas and the Christmas sale. And if you scroll down a little bit, you have their collections list. Now they don't have a lot of different items, but the items that they do have are all high quality. If we click on view all, you see that they do have a few, but it's not a lot. They have tools, toys, stuff for pets, DIY products, an engine model, which is actually pretty interesting and kind of random. They have a Halloween niche, which obviously, of course, now they're going into the Christmas niche and a new section along with a hot sale section. Aside from that, scrolling through the rest of the website, it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to navigate. It's clean. You know, it's just like most of the other dropshipping websites that we've seen. It's organized pretty well. But one thing that I actually do like about it personally is the color scheme that they use. But one thing that I don't like about it is when you first land on the website, you can't see their name up here, the Bob VSS, especially since it lands on this particular page. So it completely drowns it out. But aside from that, everything else is pretty straightforward, pretty clean. LoveWLshop.com is up next. And this dropshipping store is pretty generic. This banner right here, this image, honestly, I don't like it. I don't think it really fits with the overall feel of the store. And it really doesn't tell you anything. It just says we're open. I mean, I would assume you're open if your website is open and you can navigate through it. So my suggestion, as soon 
soon as somebody lands on your page, have an image that's actually going to attract them, something that resonates with your audience or something that's relevant to your niche. Now, scrolling through a little bit, we can see that this is actually a pretty big image. And right under that, they have a bestseller section. So this seems to be more than anything, a type of home goods store. So they sell certain accessories and certain goods for the house. So as you can see, they have some kitchenware, some storage stuff, a few different types of lights, some towels, some pool accessories, pretty generic things. So this is more than anything, a somewhat of a general store, but I'm leaning more towards the niche of home goods. Overall though, the website is pretty clean. It's very simple. There's really not much to it. The logo itself, I'm not really sure what that has to do with the actual store or with the name of the store. But in a lot of the different videos that we've made, a lot of the logos and a lot of the store names don't really resonate with the store itself. So if one thing that's important to you is building brand identity or building your own brand, then make sure that your logo and the name of the store are both relevant to your niche and your store. The Avidian is up next. And quite frankly, I really like that name. I have no idea what it means. And apparently it means relating to or characteristic of the Roman poet Ovid or his works. Sure. I just think it's a really cool name. But anyway, as soon as we jump into the Ovidian website, the first thing that we're greeted with is slay the day with us with a car in the middle of what looks to be a meadow of really tall grass. Maybe not entirely sure what this has to do with the website, but let's find out. So the weekend is almost here and we're getting ready to capture all the action. All right, scroll down a little bit. Let's see what they have. So they have home goods, shoes and clothing, metal voyeur animal art. Interesting. They have electric toy birds, which look to be more than anything going by the picture of the cat, a toy for cats, baby bathing sprinkler toys, some different types of rings, some LED lights. All right. So this is obviously a very generic store. This is a general store that sells a little bit of everything. And quite frankly, it's kind of messy. It's really not organized at all. They have a bunch of random products as soon as you land on the web page and start scrolling. Honestly, it's not categorized very well. I don't entirely like the look of it. And then right at the end, they have the Avidian. We want to be accomplices of your well-being and you feel that you are where you have to be. I don't really know what that has to do with the website. I don't know what that has to do with the overall theme of the website or with the niche. I think that this website could be structured a lot better. I think honestly, it's pretty messy. It's got items all over the place. It doesn't have a clear niche. It doesn't have a clear message, but it's got a pretty cool name at least. In all seriousness, this website could use a little bit of restructuring. So take that into consideration whenever you start building yours. Make sure it's easy to navigate and don't just have a bunch of random products everywhere. It's not going to make sense. People aren't going to necessarily know what they're looking at and it doesn't really build trust to actually make a purchase. All right, up next we have Tech Bunks. Now Tech Bunks is a general store. They have a general store feel and they sell more than anything generic items. They sell a little bit of everything. So as soon as we land on the website, we can see Tech Bunks. I actually really like their logo. That's one thing that stood out to me as soon as I saw it, the T and the B. It looks well done. It's professionally done. A logo like this can really help build trust in order to be able to make a purchase. People need to feel that trust to be able to actually spend their money at your website. So having a clear logo, something that looks good, can help out in building trust. Aside from that, going by the name Tech Bunks, we can see that even though it is kind of a general store, they do sell a lot of techie products. So they could be a general store that focuses on tech. Now, will that make it a niche store specifically for tech? I mean, it can be, but a lot of the products that they sell some are going to be high tech, some are going to be, you know, kind of low tech. So I really don't know if that falls under the umbrella of technology. So I'm just going to keep it at a general store that focuses on tech. So going through the first thing that we spot is the very popular mini thermal printer. I've seen this all over TikTok. Scrolling a little bit more, you can see it's got a lot more generic products. Again, these are pretty techie products. So you have this circulation EMS foot massager and a muscle toner. Now scroll through a little bit more. They got a product of the week, which is actually pretty cool. I like the fact that they have a product of the week. This can tell your customer that this is something that a lot of people are looking at, even though it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You can simply just put a product of the week, whatever you want to sell. And in order to add a little bit of social proof, just add some trust badges like this one right here. 16 sold in the last 12 hours. Is that true? There's really no way to verify that. So sure. So keep scrolling a little bit. You have then a hot category section with some more products. So as you can see what I was telling you earlier, it's not necessarily a technology based store. They have outdoor items. They have home tools, kitchen accessories accessories, health and fitness, kids things. It's really more than anything. It's a general store. And then they have another top selling section over here and their blog posts. So overall, the look and feel of the store itself 
The website's pretty clean. It's pretty easy to navigate. I'm not a huge fan of the structure of it where they have this huge image over here. Then they have trending products. Then they have a product of the week. Then they have hot categories. Then they have the top selling. I feel like they need to add a little bit more in between. Maybe add some different pictures, something about your brand, something about your store. Maybe even add different reviews or a section dedicated for reviews. Overall, though, the point for this website does come across. You can see that it is somewhat of a techie general store. So, I mean, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty straightforward. It could use a little bit more organization. And with that, I think you guys could all do a little bit better than this store can. But I will say I do like that logo. All right. So the next website that we're going to be taking a look at is Bristlefly. Now, Bristlefly, obviously, as you can tell from the huge image right in the front of the page, focuses primarily on makeup accessories. So let's see if we're right. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that our, their best seller is the electric makeup brush cleaner. All right. That looks really good. I like the fact that the first thing that you see when you start scrolling is their top seller. And on top of everything, it's half off. But scrolling through a little bit more, they have a bundle and a family bundle, which gets you 60% off. Why use electric makeup brush cleaner with a little TikTok logo right here? So I'm pretty sure that you've seen this on TikTok quite a bit. Keep going. And I was right, but at the same time, I was wrong. This isn't a general store. This is not a store that focuses on makeup accessories. This is a one product store. So all they do is focus on selling this electric makeup brush cleaner. All right, so it's not bad. I like the colors. I like how everything works together. I like the theme. I like how the moment that you jump on here, the first thing that you see is this picture that tells you you're in the right spot. This website has to do with makeup, with brushes or something along those lines. Aside from that, though, the color scheme works perfectly well with what they're trying to do. The colors work great together. This black and pink and the white, it all works perfectly. It contrasts very nicely. The backgrounds are clean. The images are clean. And this is one thing that I really like and I wish I would see more of in other websites sites this part right here so if you scroll down a little bit you have an image and some information on that image or on the product but it's not just put on there it's put on there very elegantly it looks nice it looks clean it makes me actually want to read this most of the times i see all this different information it's huge paragraphs of tiny text and you really don't want to read it it really does not make you want to read it this does the color scheme the size of the font the paragraphs aren't extremely long they're quick to read through this website has been done very very well it's very clean and if you're looking to sell anything in the makeup section or in the health and beauty section then you can really start taking inspiration from bristlefly now before we continue forward i do want to let you all know that to go along with this video we are going to have as always an easy to reference cheat sheet if you want access to that all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag dropshipping stores and let me know which one of these is your favorite and which one you're going to be taking inspiration from once i see that you went ahead and did that i'll reply back with a link to the sheet now that sheet is going to be full of all of the different websites that i'm showing you all of the different links and some extra tips and tricks also, if you're enjoying this video up until now, then make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe. All right, let's keep going. Adaprox.io is up next and they seem to focus on home automation. Now, the fact that they have automation and IO kind of puts everything together. I don't know what it is, but every single time I see IO, it has to do with either automation or AI, but that's completely beside the point. So here, the first thing that we see is rechargeable fingerbot plus this is an interesting website i've never seen any of these different items so no replacing no hassle no limit what are these these look to be different types of chargers so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit to see if we can get our answers retrofit your conventional buttons and switches interesting okay so this changes your switches and your buttons Hmm. compact all your ir remotes in one feel the pulse of your home be your company late at night so these seem to be little central hubs that take in whatever signal that you're sending out maybe you're sending it out through a phone or through a remote control and it pushes it out to these little cubes which can essentially turn on or press a button empower finger bot by cloud automation schedule and voice control make your old appliances smart with physical click and ir command pretty interesting this is something that i've definitely never seen before and and it sparked my interest. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really good. If you have an item that can spark somebody's interest the way that this did, then you have a best seller. Find somebody that is an impulse buyer. Me personally, I'm not an impulse buyer sometimes, but if you find somebody that really is an impulse buyer and they love technology and they find something like this cool, they'll purchase this pretty instantly, especially with the holidays coming up. This looks to be a perfect gift for a new homeowner or somebody that just got a new apartment, somebody that just moved out. But that's beside the point. Let's keep on scrolling down. They have some pretty good gifts everything is high quality super easy setup small text not a lot to read easy to go through fantastic website so far i absolutely love it and 
boom this is one thing that i love to see especially on the home page reviews if you can add some sort of social proof this is really going to start building trust in your customers to make the purchase scrolling through a little bit more you got different compliments from communities and their different links in their footer this is a very good website honestly if you can find an item that's similar to this and maybe make it a little bit less clunky maybe a little bit smaller a bit more sleek then you can really go into competition with these guys but i'm not gonna lie to you this item right here is actually really cool okay so now let's take a look at signify now signify seems to be somewhat of a general store right now the first thing that we see is merry christmas explosive purchases and a shop now button in the middle i think it could be done a little bit better honestly i'm not a huge fan of it i think it's very generic it's very kind of just there it's not really telling me anything about the website so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit let's see if we can find a little bit more this snow that's going on here i'm not liking it especially if it's going down throughout the entire page it kind of takes away from the feel it takes away from the images and and it's kind of annoying that's beside the point but aside from that they have mobile accessories houseware car accessories electronics and accessories costumes fashion accessories health and beauty and kitchen so this is not a niche store this is another general store they sell a little bit of various niches other than that though if you keep on scrolling they have this is product i guess that must have been lost in translation that really makes no sense it doesn't add to the website it actually takes away from the website this is one of those things that makes your customers lose the trust rather than build the trust but let's keep on scrolling and they just have a bunch of their different items on here and their newsletter so the website itself it's simple it's clean i guess but it's not structured very well i think they could have done a little bit better in the overall structure and how they have the different niches displayed then on top of that they have their products which are kind of all over the place it's not really organized they have a jewelry cleaner then they have a rolling sewing hem press a sewing kit barefoot shoes golf battle royale and a rest strength trainer none of these items have absolutely anything to do with each other having random items like that really you don't know what you're looking for the customer doesn't know what they're looking for they're not going to know what they're looking at they're not going to know what to expect a lot of the times if you go to a general store and everything's all over the place it's hard to navigate people aren't going to know what to expect from the website so they're just going to click off and go somewhere else and i'm not gonna lie to you that snow is driving me crazy so let's just go check out the next one move mate is next and this is actually one product that i've seen before i've seen this little tennis practice thing before it's really well put together this website is really nice i love the fact that the moment you jump on here you have a video showing you exactly how the product works now obviously this is not a generic store they don't focus on different tennis accessories this is a one product store that focuses on the movement which is by the looks of it a tool that can help you practice with tennis if you scroll down a little bit you have a bit of information on here a few of the different variations that they have and oh they actually have the tennis racket but if we keep going then we have a few different reviews this is obviously in a different language so i have no idea what any of this stuff says but overall it's pretty well put together the text here is kind of small but it's easy to see and it's not a lot the images are a high quality and you can tell that they're also original images these aren't stock images that you take from aliexpress scrolling through though you see just the item being used and that's about it it's pretty clean straightforward i like it it's a pretty good way to display a one product shop up next is funny fuzzy and they specialize in dog and cat accessories primarily dogs though so the name itself already tells you what this website has to do with stuff that's fuzzy or furry i guess so the first thing that you see when you jump on here is just a bunch of images of different dogs with some of the items that they sell so again just like in some of the other websites you see a black friday advertisement scrolling through everything you have a few different discount codes that you can use this right here i I absolutely love i think this is something pretty cool another way that you can display this is simply up here but they are using it for their shipping information so i can see why they kept it down here but aside from that the images are super high quality these are all original images obviously these are not some that are taken from aliexpress or alibaba or any of those websites so if you keep going down they're advertising a toy sale 20 percent off five toys five percent off two toys it's pretty cool waiting for black friday at home that is a very catchy tagline this goes so well with these different beds especially showing the different animals resting subscribe for an extra five percent off a new arrival section and some more high quality images with different articles that's pretty cool they have different articles on here and social proof with their instagram all right funny fuzzy i think to this point is probably my favorite website that we've covered so far i love it i love the color scheme i love the structure i love the animals i love the pictures i love absolutely everything about this website i think it is done very well now the next website we're going to cover is called if you say i do now 
What does that tell you? It obviously tells you that this website has to do with something about marriage. So let's see if we're right. And the first thing that we're prompted with is one of these spinners that give us a discount. I'm not going to purchase anything just yet or at all because I'm already married, but let's go ahead and keep going. So as soon as we get on here, we have a flash sale with a somewhat stocky looking image in the back. This can be an image that's taken from a stock website, or it can also be an image that they took themselves. Now scrolling down a little bit, they have a flash sale. If you say I do some different featured products. All right. So they have reusable LED balloons. These are pretty cool. This is not something that I've seen before. Wedding, birthday, party, foil, balloon holder sticks. These titles can be a lot better. Lighted fiber optic wands for wedding send off ideas, wedding send off ideas at night. Okay, so the different items that they have, you can tell that they're not changing or optimizing the titles. So they're just taking the titles from whatever it says on AliExpress, Alibaba, or whatever supplier they're using, and they're simply copying and pasting. Don't do that. One really big thing that I want to suggest to you is make the names of your items fairly simple to understand. This is a bunch of random writing that makes absolutely no sense, especially if you're displaying it on your own website. If you are selling these items on something like Etsy, then having all of these different terms will make sense because you're ranking for SEO. But when you're selling on your own website, it's probably not the best idea to have a bunch of different words in your product title. But aside from that, if we keep scrolling, you can see that all of the different products are niched towards weddings, except for this Halloween mask. This is so random. You have everything that has to do with weddings and niceness, and then you just have that. I don't know what to say about that. So let's keep going. And especially the end of the website. Party decor, Halloween. I guess that's where they took it from. The Halloween section kind of propped up on there. But anyway, the website itself overall is pretty straightforward. It's clean. It looks good. They have really high quality images. Honestly, the only thing that I would really change, well, the only two things that I would really change for one is simply updating the product titles. This is something that's easily remedied. You can simply just copy this, put it into chat GPT and you ask it for a new title and boom, it'll give you a few different suggestions. Aside from that, if you're working with AutoDS, if you're using the AutoDS services and automating your entire website, which if you're not, then I highly suggest you do automating your store. can really help free up a ton of time that you can use to reinvest back into your website to keep scaling. But one really important feature from AutoDS that I absolutely love, obviously aside from automating your entire store and becoming hands off is the fact that they have AI built into their system. So whenever you upload your different products, you can go on over to the draft section or you can go to your products page and you can click and look for the title. Once you're on here, you can simply optimize the title with AI and you can optimize the description with AI. This will rewrite your entire description or your title and make it sound professional, make it sound funny, make it sound catchy. However it is that you want it to make it sound, this AI system can do it. This really helps with the overall look and feel of your store. As you can see, going back to, if you say I do, having smaller product titles titles and having smaller, more concise product titles can really add to the feel of your store. Architecture is up next. And quite frankly, I was about to say architecture, but as you can see, I guess because of the name architecture, it kind of has to do with architecture. Maybe it does the world of architecture. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and keep going. So this seems to be a store that is based around home goods, architecture, and yeah, pretty much home goods. A lot of the different things that you use either in or around your house. This is a very modern style website. It's very easy to navigate. It looks really clean. The pictures are super nice, very sharp, very clean, straight to the point. I like it. I like the website. I like how it looks. I like the fact that they have a blog that can help you choose different products on their website. And overall, they have high quality images, high quality products from the looks of it. Very well done. I like the color scheme. I like the modern look to it. I think this is a very well done website. Okay. The next website on this list is going to be Arotsuke. Arotsuke. Yeah, that's that's what it is. That's an interesting name. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Smile, sparkle, shine. When you live from your inner passions, you'll never have to seek agreement from others. So the first thing that you see when you jump onto this website is a very nice landscape image. I don't know what this has to do with the website, so let's figure it out. Find your inner fire. Then right under that, they have another motivational picture with a motivational quote. Again, I'm not entirely sure what this has to do with the store, but let's find out. All right, so this is what they sell. They have knee wraps, compression sleeves, and body shapers. Interesting. Okay, so that seems to be pretty much all that they sell. Yeah, so they're pretty much niche down to that. So they're selling things like knee wraps, compression sleeves, and body shapers. Now, overall, this is a pretty pretty simple website. The color scheme is interesting. It's not really one that I've seen too much before. It looks all right. It's not super eye popping. It's not super eye catching, but I mean, it works. One thing that I would change, however, though, is this 
motivational picture right here. Honestly, this is for one really big. It takes up a lot of the space on the web page. takes up a lot of the retail space on here. I think that's what it's called. And it doesn't tell you anything about the website. So as soon as you land on the site, if this is the first thing that you see, chances are some people are going to click off. The owners of this website are potentially losing a few different sales because of the people that land on the site and they don't know what they're looking at. So again, like I keep mentioning, when it comes to your homepage or your landing page, as soon as you jump on here, the first thing that you want to see is something that has to do with the website, with your brand or with your niche. Other than that, the logo and the name of the store itself is another thing that I would change. Again, it tells me absolutely nothing about the store. I don't even know what it means and it's pretty hard to pronounce. Origi Sunglasses is up next and I really hope I pronounced that correctly. But obviously this is a store that focuses on the niche for sunglasses. So let's go ahead and check out to see how the website looks. And I like the video that they have in the background. It tells me exactly what I need to know. This is a website that sells sunglasses. Now the video itself seemed pretty high quality. It's one of those really cool commercial looking ones that's playing right now. Keep scrolling down a little bit. You can see that they have a bunch of different sunglasses here. This one is absolutely amazing. I love this one here. This one is not my style, but it's definitely unique. This one's interesting. They have some really interesting sunglasses here. This one right here is dope. So keep going. I really like the fact that they have a bunch of their different unique sunglasses right on the landing page. This is something that really catches attention. And even better, they have the different variations here that are easy to see. They're in small little squares, so they don't take up a lot of space, but they are clearly there and your customers will easily be able to see the different variations from the homepage. Keep scrolling. You have see what's trending. They have trending designs with instant try-ons. Okay, this is absolutely amazing. So they have an AR filter. This is super cool because you can try on any one of these sunglasses virtually. All you do is you scan this code and it'll pop up with a filter. Actually, you don't want to do it. Oh, there it is. All right, oh yeah, it's because I have glasses on. All right, so they have the different styles of glasses that you can choose from. Oh no, they have the different colors. Okay, this is still pretty cool. So it seems that this is particularly for one style. I'm not sure if they have this for all of the different other styles, but let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. They have what's your favorite style, subscribe. Then they have their flamed collection, a little bit on the brand itself, what they offer with their sunglasses and some more different high quality images with different categories and my favorite customer reviews. Now this website is easy to navigate. It's pretty well structured. The only thing that I would change on it is making it a little bit shorter. So this website, you scroll and you scroll and you scroll and you scroll and you scroll. I think it's a little bit too much scrolling. Honestly, if it were up to me, they have two sections when it comes to the different designs that they have. So they have pretty much two product catalogs. So I would take one of them off. I would just keep this one right here, the first one that you see. Then if you keep scrolling, you see that they have their featured product pretty much all the way at the bottom. This is something that should be more towards the top. A lot of the times people aren't gonna scroll this far. The only reason we scroll this far is because we're looking through the website itself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than making it a little bit shorter, the website itself is really well structured. I love the images. I love the theme. Everything of this website is fantastic. It's just that one thing that I'm not liking. It's way too long. But aside from that, really well done. This next website is called Succeed in M. I believe the name of the store itself, it really has nothing to do with what they sell. Honestly, it's not my favorite name, but as soon as you get onto the website, you do see exactly what they have to offer, which is phone cases. Now the site itself is pretty elegantly put together. The images are all pretty high quality, even though some of them do look to be a little bit stocky. So some of the images that you'll take from AliExpress, but otherwise they're really well done. They have some really unique cases, which I really like. I love the fact that they're actually showing off their unique pieces although they are showing off i think a little bit too much maybe it would be better to yeah because then they have the view all button so i think the one thing i would change from this is probably make this a little bit shorter maybe keep it to two rows at eight different products if that and then have the view all button but other than that the website structured pretty well the colors work together the image banner that you get at the beginning is very well put together it's clean it looks good high quality image no blurriness no pixelization and yeah overall it's a pretty good website the only one thing like i said that i would change is all of these different products i would just consolidate this and obviously i would add a review section always add a review section to your homepage. next up we have nisense or nisense i'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it a lot of these stores have really weird names 
When you come up with your store, make sure you have a name that's easy to say, it's easy to pronounce, and when you have a name that's easy to pronounce, it's also a lot more memorable. It's easier to remember. But the first thing that we see is a few different pots and pans. The image itself is pretty high quality, looks good, but it really doesn't tell you anything about the store itself. It just says buy now. So you have a CTA to buy now, but if you scroll down a little bit, then you actually get to see what they offer. So here you have their collections list. They have best sale, which I'm assuming that'll be best seller, tools, gifts, and promotional products. So early Christmas sales, save 50% off, promotion, dress design. This is obviously a generic store. It's a very general store. They sell a little bit of everything. They do not niche down to one particular item or category. Their homepage is an endless amount of scrolling. And I actually think they have all of their products here because they don't have a view all button. So overall, the website itself is... I mean, it's just there. Honestly, it's nothing special. I would completely restructure the website. I think this is something that you could do a lot better, especially if you take some of the different tips that I've talked about in this video into consideration. Take examples from the higher quality websites and put it all together with your style and your brand. But this website in particular, Nisense, it's not it for me. I'm really not feeling it. It's too generic. It's not really structured very well. And as you can see, they just put all of their products in their homepage. I mean, if it's working for them, then hats off. Great job. But me personally, it's not something that I would do. It's not something that I like. And I wouldn't really expect my customers to build a sense of trust in order to purchase from my website. Skin Gym is next. And this obviously has to do with either something that has to do with skin or the gym. So they have face serum. Okay, so that's what this is. This is skincare products. So they have a wrinkle LED mask, LED light therapy wands. And aside from that, if you scroll down a little bit, they have as seen on Vogue, Allure, L, and a few others. So are these true? Honestly, I'm not sure. If you want to find out for yourself, then simply go to these different websites and look for this company. But me personally, I would take it with a grain of salt. You see these on a lot of different websites, so it doesn't always necessarily mean it's true. But we're the ones that know that. Our customers aren't going to know that. So this is actually something that does build trust in your customers. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you have a GIF, a little bit of information. You have their new releases and their Instagram. So I think this is a pretty straight to the point website. I think it looks good. It's very well done. This image right here could be a little bit smaller, but it does the job. It tells you a few of the different things that they offer. And overall, it has a pretty well done theme. Everything works together. It could be maybe a little bit cleaner, but no, I think it looks really good. It's well put together. Kid Dorman is up next. And what they seem to sell is different types of garments. So they'll sell tops and bottoms. So pants, shorts, shirts, sweaters. And they have some pretty unique pieces, actually. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. This right here is really nice. I like this image. It's not huge. You can see the entire thing as soon as you land on here. Whereas some of the other ones, you have to keep scrolling. But aside from that, the name itself, Kadorman, I'm not sure what it has to do with this brand itself. But in this case, I don't really think it matters because that could just be the name that they chose for the clothing brand. As soon as you jump on here, you can see clearly what the website has to do with. Then if you scroll down, you have their best sellers. You have their different categories, embroidered tops and bottoms, all with some really high quality images. Now, these, of course, are images of the products themselves. So that's something that's really good. They're not using generic images. Keep going. They have Snuggle Season, the basic collection. This is really nice. They're doing a great job with their branding. As you can see, they have the tags on the shirts themselves as well. Then they have the different sections, shop the bottoms, shop the tops, reviews, like I absolutely always love, and shop the feed, which is their Instagram feed. Unlock 15% off, and that's it. Straight to the point, it's kind of a long website. It's not too long, but it's very well done. It's very clean. I like how it looks. It's easy to navigate, and they have very high quality images. Now, last but certainly not least, I don't know how long it's been since I started recording this video. It might have been a lot longer than I expected it to be. And if that's the case, then I'm sorry. But if you're still here, that means that you like this video and you're enjoying it. So if that's the case, make sure you smash that like button. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, let's go ahead and cover Svana. So Svana Design. Right off the bat, you can see that this is a jewelry website. It is very nice. I love this image. I think it's very well put together. The branding on here is on point. They have their name here, Svana, and the different pieces that they offer. Capture life special moments. It's This could be a little bit easier to read, but it's not bad. It looks pretty good either way. Keep scrolling. They have their featured collections, shop our friendship collection, shop by category, and the brand story, shop by recipient, and their Instagram feed. Very well done. I like the website. I like their branding. 
they have their brand all over the place they clearly know what they're doing especially with the different types of colors that they're using so they have this little cream color up top and it goes perfect with the logo and this image down here everything just blends together really nicely the images are all unique compared to things that you see in other stores specifically because you have these cool little frames where they have the curve and the point other than that pretty well put together you know exactly what you're getting into when you land on the page and yeah that's pretty much it remember if you want access to the cheat sheet that has all of the different links and topics that i talked about in today's video all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag dropshipping stores and let me know which one of these was your favorite huge thank you to everyone for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end as always it truly means a lot my name is mario with auto ds and i'll catch you all next time